Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at a Windows 10 PE uh, disk or USB flash drive. You can use either of those to boot to. And uh, if you don't know how to create your own, then Gandalf has took all the hard work out of it and created some PE uh, disks for you. So you can download them. They're ISO files, and you can download those. And as you can see, this is what we're booting up to now. So if you've got a non-bootable computer, or because of malware or blue screens or stuff like that, then this uh, particular type of uh, PE disk is very, very useful for fixing those types of issues. Now, I create all my own uh, PE disks, but if you don't know how to create them, then Gandalf has created these for you, which makes it very easy for you to just download them. So as you can see here, this is what we've got here. I will put the link in the description so you can download these. Uh, but basically, if you're looking to run your own uh, Windows 10 PE or Windows 8 or even Windows 7, because he does those as well, uh, you can do. Now, why would you need this? Again, as I said, you would probably need this to uh, fix computers, i.e. if you've got malware on the system and it's so slow that you wanted to boot it to a live environment and delete a load of malware. Obviously, you'd need some skill set to do that. Uh, maybe you've got a blue screen and it's stopping you from booting up. You can do that by via this and fix a lot of issues. Uh, you can also you know, access files, transfer data, profiles, user profiles over. You can do loads of things from this type of environment. Now, some people like to use them for other things, but that's what I use mine for. Uh, but this has uh, got some good tools in it as well. Now, mine have different types of tools in mine, but these uh, have got some good tools which I also have in mine as well. So let's take a look at some of the tools we have here. When we click on the uh, Start button here, again, you do have internet access from here. So if you can't boot up to your computer, you can use this to load up the internet and maybe you want to download something from your main FTP server or something like that. You do get the odd uh, memory thing. I'm running on a virtual machine here. Uh, but basically, uh, if I wanted to do searches uh, from here, I can do. A little bit of a typo there. Uh, but basically you get the general idea. So you can see here, it works just fine. And if you needed to download tools, you can install them from here as well. But when you reboot, they will be gone because this is runs in memory. So everything you install here will not stay installed. Okay, so let's take a look at what else we get here. We can go into the programs area. And if you look inside here, you will see an array of tools. He's embedded them into the menu system now, and you can see here we've got the memory diagnostics. You could run this for diagnosing memory issues, system tools, as you can see. There's an array of tools here, Windows uh, Startup. We've got Sys Internals, very useful uh, uh, tools here. Auto runs, you just fire this up and up comes auto runs. Okay, now you've got to remember when working in a live environment that there's two Windows operating systems. There's this one, what you're running on, and then there's the one on the actual machine, which is what you need to make sure you're checking the path to. So there's those things that you need to take into account. Um, but again, there's your tools here for the sys internals. You've got your registry, red shot remote reg edit this will allow you to locate the registry from here on the machine that you want to load up so remember not to load up the live CD uh, registry you want to load up the PC uh, registry if that makes sense so I'm going to close this uh, also we have some other bits here let me just go through here So we can open these up. I'm going to run this. And there we go. Now you can take more time, but you can see here you get access um, here. Now you can see I'm in a virtual machine. Um, 
but basically yeah gives you access to that let's take a look at some other stuff here system recovery there we go just going to open this up again I'm going to show you some more tools that you get here so again startup is empty security you've got some good stuff in here antivirus you've got some good tools here so if you've got infections you can run these types of tools from here now remember guys if you're running scans I get asked this all the time if you're running malware bytes from this type of environment it is not as effective as it is running it from the main desktop or the, from safe mode because you are in a live environment so it's going to scan and it's going to miss running processes so it's not going to be as effective um, but live disks like uh, like Kaspersky and stuff work differently so you can uh, take a look at that so you've got key finders you've got jelly beans so you would be able to get the windows key off product keys uh, you can change the the passwords from here uh, some useful tools as you can well see uh, active password uh, changer also you've got your wireless network and you've got remote connect here you've got some uh, remote connections if you wanted to connect for, via VNC or TeamViewer you can do it from here very very useful um, I've used that method to connect to someone in another country that's got a PC and I can remote in that way via the live CD because they can't get internet access on the main machine because it's infected and I remote in via um, a live environment so there you go there's the miscellaneous tools We've got a load of miscellaneous tools why you'd want VLC I don't know that's the sort of things that I would leave out uh, and stuff like that I don't use those types of things mine would just be PC repair related uh, so I don't have all these types of things in there um, but you can see we have some other tools here wind toolkit Rufus and these types of tools very useful um, but basically that's as you can see that's uh, the actual Gandalf's Windows 10 PE now if you're looking to download this I will put the link there for you you can go to his website and download those uh, very useful if you're a PC repair tech and you haven't got time to create your own or you just want to download someone else's and use that then by all means go ahead and do that okay but if you want to learn something then try to make them yourself because that way uh, you get to put in your own tools that you like to use on a regular basis anyway I'm going to wrap this one up my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos also if you haven't joined my forums and you've got a video request or problems with computers you can head over there and if you haven't uh, give me a little like up on Facebook yet then head over there and give us a little like up I will do a follow-up video of this and show you how to put this onto a USB flash drive and that will be in my next video. Thanks again for watching guys. Bye for now.